Go. The teams creep out. Some early smoke rotations looming. Haven't seen this kind of aggression in the landing stage this series. Puppy, the man in front. Okay, just a ward for now. Yep. Both teams getting that critical mid ward off without being detected, so. We do occasionally in these elimination games, we do see teams actually go for like that 3-4 hero committed smoke, try to find the first blood. Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> but not this. Cloud9 TI5, smoke into Roche, level 1. It was a disaster. 30 seconds but it made for great, it made for great TV, right? It made for great memes. That is for sure. All right, it seems like both teams are quite reserved. We don't see any kind of kind of aggressive invade. I do, I do believe, like, for example, Team Seeker took three runes last game. But both teams are going to be playing it safe and standard. How effective do you think the Spirit Breaker will be this game compared to game one? There's a little bit more stun this time around. There's that Presti attack from Legion to help out allies. There's but four heals. I mean, I think it's going to go off. I look at the lady stage, like, how many actual interruptions do they have there? They have cats. That is it. Uh -huh. Later on in the game, yeah, I think they're fine against the charge. Like, you, charging into those five is suicide, but I still look at this laning stage. Like, there's a lot of heroes that don't have a way to interrupt the charge. You also have a nature's profit to add as a plus one, something they did not have in game one. So I think there's openings here for Puppy, but it all comes down to, like, the vision game. Will Liquid identify where he wants to attack from? Those vectors, will, he be, will they anticipate them better? Yeah, maybe they position right early. We'll, we'll see. Uh, and, you know, certainly they don't have the plus damage to the ground. That's another thing to keep in mind. The first charge on the mid. Just a little zoning on the Tumba Man. But they are going to get some extra auto attacks in here. Force him back. And meanwhile, bottom. Looks like Secret were trying to get aggressive on mind control. Yeah, this is going to be their point of the attack with the uh, mind control LC as well as the GH Kato. They just basically spam you out with both overwhelming odds as well as the Luminant. But there is no overwhelming odd just yet. And we're going to see a charge coming in. Luna not level 2 just yet, so I don't think she could be able to assist in this kill. Puppy already, I mean, to be fair, it was hard to have a faster start than game 1, which is probably the most impactful laning stage spear breaker I've ever seen, but yep. a much slower start here. I really like what Liquid is doing for the draft. They want to put a very offensive dual off lane, and basically the goal is to basically force both the Rubik and the spear breaker to help out the Luna. If you can force both the supports there, then the mid lane gets a true 1v1. Um, you know. We've seen this struggle for Team Liquid in the past, but if this is true 1v1, I think the Tumba Man's gonna be fine. As I say that though, he gets blinked on, has to activate the Ghost Shroud, and mid one is doing a great job right now controlling that mid lane. The Tumba Man is getting brushed pretty heavily here. Nine and then nine to three and oh of Matumba. Now, to be fair, Matumba, normally not a mid player, and when he goes mid, it's on, you know, it's normally in a very advantaged matchup, like the last pick Rude, which has no counter, nice. that type of thing. Nice. Uh, but Mid one is really putting the heat on him early. Just that tiny bit of help that Puppy gave. You see Mind Control off to the jungle. They're gonna actually gonna leave this bottom lane entirely to GH. Gaps are now with the haste and they try to anticipate which way is best to go and they decide on bottom. There is no vision of this for GH and he's in trouble now. Lifted back in, straight into the charge. There is a point in the lucid beam, so no escape for GH. The connection is there. First blood to Seeker. Yeah, and if you look at the mini map, on the bottom side of the map, there's nothing to see the movement of Puppy. No wards, nothing. And he just, it's freely. Like, he char charges bottom again. And they're just going to keep this pressure going. Onto mind control this time. A bit of a tougher kill. It's still only a level 2 Luna. But the body blocks are there. They're going to need this lift to come through. The timing's good. Dashed away, though. And the do they have the damage? Press the attack says no. They do have this nature's profit. Meanwhile, as Kezu oh, he's fishing the for courier. the courier mid, but... Wisely, Liquid do anticipate it, but wait for the upgrade. So a bit of a wasted moment. Could have been a huge roll of momentum forward. Very smartly by Mind Control, a lot of LC just gets the overwhelming odd, you know, at least by level 2, but he saved the skill point and gets himself to press the attack. As a result, he was able to survive against that gang. We'll try to jungle it up. If, if Liquid win this game, pubs are going to be a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> but no, at least he started the offlane. He sat there for, you know, all of a minute. Jungle Legion. Just don't get an Iron Talon mind control. I mean, if he finds a jungle, then you might as well do get the Iron Talon. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Keeper of the Light definitely benefits from the experience, and so much of this Liquid Draft is pushed that you can understand the reasons, right? Like, that early Ags, those early points in Illuminate, 
even just getting the recall is what will fuel the push. So the more space that GH gets, the more quickly that they can start to develop that momentum. I'll dig that. Really like the way that Mind Control, or rather, sorry, Kezu has been playing his Nature's Prophet. Always sending out his Treants everywhere. Send one to the runes, send one to possibly deny the boundary rune away from the other side. Small things, but like you said, LD, this game is uh, a game of inches. Small things add up. The lanes definitely going heavily in favor of Secret here. Already over a thousand gold lead. And now a DD rune up a mid one, putting the hurt on Matumba. He does have the two points in Scream, has to respect that Ghost Shroud, but just a couple of pokes from auto attacks. He can probably commit for the kill, and certainly if the Nature's Prophet comes in, certainly if there's a charge from Puppy, I think Liquid recognized that Matumba is very vulnerable right now. Just gets the stick, he's pretty poor in this lane, only 14 CS even yeah. now. They are setting up. You can see that GH is definitely kind of recognizing the play pattern in all of these games. I do believe this is like the first time he kind of rotated mid. But I don't know if he can actually save Matumba Puppy this backstab charge through the trees worked before. It could work again. Matumba, as the wave pushes in, has to deal with the sonic wave as well, but his position is fantastic here. Way behind oh, the tower. He's going to get cut off. Look at Yapo. I'm making this outside. Now, not so fantastic. Charge comes through. They do get the bash. Gets off the ghost shot, but he doesn't have anything to give him during this time. Then comes the combo. And oh, now, oh, 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 oh. two. Secret. The two for one special. So on paper, when you have these kind of They're kills. They're looking for the answer back. Four men overwhelming odds. Mind control can't run in. Oh. And Lick would commit four heroes rotating onto this lane. Now they've all got to scramble back. GH swinging back towards bottom. Mind control also. Probably back to the woods. Yeah, that's probably the worst scenario for them. That they all try to come and help mid. They all try and hold the lane. And yeah, we're going to watch this. Still give up the kills. One more time. You know, the beauty of having these heals and sustains that you could survive long enough for your ally support it, but the Sonic Wave just lined up too. MP is definitely happy about that one. Yeah, he also he threw the heal out and then dropped the ghost route. I don't actually think it matters there. They had four yeah, heroes with so much damage, anyway. he dies anyway, but it just made it that easier. And perhaps Matumba not feeling comfortable in this mid lane up against 10 KMOR player who is playing <laughs> like it's an elimination game. Mid one is making him work for it. So, what now for Liquid Lumi? It's been a bad start as far as the lanes go. They have this strong five man push. Are they just playing defense? Do you want to see them make some aggressive maneuvers to try to open up the map? I think they play defense, and they're good at that. You know, you have the TP coming in with press the attack, with the cast. You can turn some fights around under your tower. But unfortunately, as they're doing that, they're kind of further losing out on the lanes. One thing that they got going in this game, compared to game one, is that Puppy is kept under control, right? You don't have a Spear Breaker that's, you know, killing everybody. And as a result, when the mid-game comes, the Spirit Breaker becomes a fairly ineffective hero. Compared to, you know, like think of a Night Stalker or a Kunkka, for example. Yeah, what he adds later on is quite limited. There's, you know, no big ultimate that he can at least interrupt with like a, a Nether Strike, no channeling Black Hole or something. Right, so. I mean, it, to be fair, like, what he is doing, even though he's not getting kills for the team, is that he's putting pressure. Like, look at this. They actually have a ward, and they want to punish Puppy. Four heroes rotating. Oh, in. There's no stun. The there's one stun. Odds. Out come the, comes the cast. Kuro says, let's get him, boys. Okay. Four heroes fighting. There's about to be a quapple. This could really go poorly. Kenshin joins the party. Secret say, great. We'd love to take this fight in the river. They bring down the Necrophos. That's a huge loss for only a Spirit Breaker. Still the quapple available. Necro is a hero that cannot afford to dial out early. He's not the best turbo farmer. He's also very squishy naturally. Dyer's he's also got this, you know, less last hits than Quap's deny, right? Like, he's just not doing well, and he needs to... I mean, even though he died there, he was able to get a kill right before, so it does help out his economy a little bit. To me, though, Mirko is being able to free farm an advantage matchup in his lane. He needs to come up big. Is Troll a hero that can do it? Like, do you view Troll as something like an Alchemist, an Invoker, who can take the game over? I don't think so. I mean, it depends on the items you go for. You, you do see some Troll Warlords going for, like, a second item, like, let's say, Shadow Blade or even Blink Dagger, and just be very active over the map. But I don't think that's going to be how Liquid plays it. I think they're going to just build for that push. Last game, in terms of the overall game plan, it was a lot of help for Miracle, but it did feel like a one-man show. In terms of Dyer's the top strategy top they employed, top. this one looking Dyer's like much more of a everyone has to do their part type of game. As Secret starts to poke and prod here in the top lane, 
Mid one gets aggressive, under mind control, doesn't have the duel yet. Only level five. Forced to heal himself up here defensively. Press the attack. Mana is lacking. Secret could try again. Charge coming in. He's gonna find Kuro. Oh, Puppy says, fight me, Kuro! That's a one-sided fight. There, there was no fighting. Okay. That was just cruel, Puppy. Kill for him. And now the dive under mind control. So no points at duel. Secret continue to apply the pressure. And Kezu also looking to cut him off. Drop the sprout. Gives them the vision. But now TP coming in. The advantage of that low level on Kuro is the quick respawn. Miracle looking to cut him off. But Liquid don't have the vision this time around. And mind control dead. still going for Sonic more. Wave. He wants the tower and he wants the kill. He doesn't get the tower. doesn't get the to kill. He will have to jump away in the end. But... Nonetheless, Dyer's Liquid are reacting, at least for now, and MP just continue to apply pressure here in the bottom lane. It's hard for the heroes to take the proactive stance in this game. You don't have Link on Legion yet. In fact, you don't, you know, you don't even have Duel on Legion yet, so... They're gonna have to be reacting for quite a while until they get their tools available. Overall, seems like Secrets accomplished the early game plan, Looming. For sure, yeah. What's next for them? Next, you want to take down these uh, three outer ring of tier one towers and basically put Liquid in a chokehold. Limit where they can farm and just keep on invading their jungle and finding more and more kills there. And snowball this game. Uh, level four death pulse now gets stolen. So a bit of bonus nuke damage. Could be huge against the Ghost Shroud as Batumba Man does activate it to stay alive. It's a bit of a window here where Puppy could get aggressive. More Liquid heroes camping out near mid. Meanwhile, Kezu just happily farming away top. MP hitting creeps bottom. Puppy might just go back to the jungle, scoop up a bounty room. So Secret kind of forcing Liquid to stick together, but they're farming the whole map in the meanwhile. Like, just imagine the scenario of how Liquid could actually get a kill. They need to smoke up with both Legion and Witch Doctor. They need to yeah. pop out that smoke with a cask. Hope your Legion can phase boot in for a duel, and hope you have enough damage to get a kill. There's a lot of if ends. Like, all of these conditions have to, like, I, you hope that Secret don't have a teleport score. So, So much of it comes down to initiation, right? Because you look at this Liquid draft, and we, it was talked about on the panel as a heavy push draft. Liquid want to group up a lot early, and when they get to that point, in theory, they're very strong. But ideally, you want to find some kills on the way to help get you that farm, get you the position to get those items, and what is their initiation? Legion yeah. has to farm a blink. Mind control is 200 gold right now, so that's going to take a while. And even then, Secret has some pretty good counter initiation. They have ways to punish a Legion duel. And he's likely to be in far on his own because Liquid don't have much mobility. There's no one who can really keep up with that Blink Dagger. Yeah. There's not like a GH Night Stalker. So, I mean, maybe with the recall, they can get crafty. It's not going to be easy to find Radiant's those kills and to create a little space here on the map. Meanwhile, we've already seen Secret plenty of ways to start a fight. For sure. Liquid counted on their lanes a little bit better. You know, the, the Kato plus LC idea was decent until they did just defensive tri lane against it. They didn't count on the Tumpet Man also losing the lane that hard in a true 1v1. And as a result, you know, you had an LC jungle, the Tumpet Man's getting out outlasted it. Big bucket of gold here for MP with the Mask of Madness in the Absorb position. He'd love to get some experience and Puppy, meanwhile, charging out the bottom lane. Eyes on mind control. Force him away. But this also is just a little space. The Absor again, snagging that Death Pulse, level 4. Yeah, they're definitely trying to protect MP while he farms up these Ancients. Like, what do know about it, but can they contest? Can they fight up the hill, into the Eclipse, into the Queen of Pain Hole? Try and see if I see. They're gonna try at least Radiant's a little contest. But you can see, like, they're not confident they can take Dyer's this fight. Definitely not. And they're getting ratted in the meanwhile. While they're thinking about Ancients, Kezu is whacking away at the Tier 1 bottom. So Secret, just identifying that Liquid are gonna try to make a move here, are able to punish them elsewhere. At least Troll Warlord get a, you know, a tower trade up hop. So they're getting at least something out of the map. Still friending Matumba Man, keeping Kuro stuck attack. next to him. Blue to his hip, at least for now. One thing that we should not forget is the fact that, you know, we're, we're focused on how Team Liquid could group up and push. On the other side, there's a Luna and Prophet. They could push rather easily as well. And because of their early laning advantage and the fact that this Luna is super farmed at, at the current game, they, yeah, they could just go. MP says, I have Eclipse up. Let's get a smoke gank and perhaps convert that into a push. Liquid hugging the tower. I do want to point out, Miracle is farming up a storm. 40 CS up on the Luna. They make their move now on the mid lane charge on the Matumba Man from the rear comes Kezu. Oh boy, he pops quickly. Now on the Kuro, sprouted up. Do they have a Lucent Beam? 
Yes, sir. -y. Secret get to. All the while, Miracle just pushing out this top yep. lane. I mean, you were asking me, sure, you know, Tro is getting farmed, but what does Tro do with farm? Can he be effective? Not as effective as Luno, you know, go in the mid lane, drops off a huge nuke, pushes the tier one. Are they thinking about Roche? No, they don't have enough at the moment. But I think I think Miracle, what he can do is maybe come in with a whirling axis, get a kill, and then maybe threaten Roshan. That's probably his biggest contribution right now before he gets some big items. Liquid. Pretty solid Roche lineup with the Legion, uh, with all the heals, and with the troll. Miracle is rushing the BKB. So we, we've seen, you know, a lot of players opt for like the Yasha, go for that greedier farming build, but Miracle feels compelled to fight early. And with the way the game has gone, look at his net worth. His next closest teammate is 3k down. He's almost doubling his own Necro. I think the, the bigger so. story is that there's four secret members in between, you know, like... Uh, well, three, but yeah, the Rubik is not far off. Secret art. Certainly ahead, it's not an overwhelming lead. It's still a one fight kind of game where everything can suddenly tilt. And the blink dagger still being worked on by mind control. A ways Radiant's to go for this. Under oh, 1300 gold short. Yeah. GH though attack. also working towards that Aghanim Scepter. Already four staff finished, so he was able to sap the off lane for a long time. And he should be able to defend this unless he walks in and gets lifted by Yapsor. Oh, okay. Illuminate stolen. It's gonna Radiant's make Liquid's life hard. They're struggling to push right. Liquid's life is already hard right now. Now Yapsor yeah, to show slow this thing down as the Illuminate coming out now. It's gonna quickly cave in the wave and they can split push. If they have Illuminate and they're able to hold one lane while MP and mid one, potentially even because you are pushing the other lane, they're gonna have an even bigger tower advantage. To me, the most important member right now for Team Liquid is Mind Control's Blink Dagger. Once he picks it up, then finally Team Liquid could do something. Like right now, they're all just reacting to what Secret is doing, trying their best to hold and then just farm. However, once Mind Control have that Blink, they could now begin to smoke out and, and you know, play around with Charge, now initiation onto Kuroki. Locking him down, finishing him off, another death for the Witch Doctor. Very smart play by Puppy, just like faking his ultimate. And as, as soon as you hear that sound, if you're the LC, you use the Pressy attack to bail out your teammate, right? But then Puppy cancels it, and then uh, threatens to use it again. And now into the Roshan pit, Secret are going to go for this early. Liquid are not really in position to fight here. Without the Mind Control Blink, there's no clear initiation. The initiation is Miracle running in, and his BKB isn't even done yet. So unless they can... Find some sort of miracle. Just walk in play. It's not going to happen. Mind control will chomp. Try here. It. Okay. Look at the spam. Look at the damage. The spam is strong. All right. And the... Roshan's going to chase out, so they're going to see the HP of Rosh. If they can get a... They are going to try for this. Yeah. Good recovery. They're not very sneaky as a squad, but they do have that zone control that you talked about. Same time, though. Secret are still thinking about this. They're still pretty committed. They could bring in Kezu. Summon some Treants, but first they're going to deal with this bottom lane. So while they draw Liquid towards the pit, they can just split push freely. They always have that profit plus one. But this buys time for Miracle, BKB now complete. This when war right now, sorry to cut you off, this war is doing so much because Team Secret says, okay, you have four heroes in your jungle. Sure, we're going to split up the farm. You can sit here and, you know, starve yourself. And then as soon as they, this war sees them leave, then they could think about going back to Roshan again. Like these deep wards from Team Secret is winning them the game right now. Secret do look to smoke on the back of that as Miracle moves into the pit. Puppy is there with the charge to start the party. Wants to beat up that BKB. Not happening just yet. The slow comes through. From the rear goes mid one though. Quickly the Aluna clips range down. But Tupperman needs to get away. Done the four step. GH with the save. At least for now keeps him alive. Four here. Illuminate splashes through. But Secret are into the pit. And mid one's into the back lines. Wants to bring down the keeper who fights at his shrine. But Kezu chases forward. Pops the drops. Gets the sprout. Four step on cooldown. Still eats his way out with the tango but mid one is a persistent bugger brings him down on the other side of the fight miracle bkb already blown just got kited he's got an invis room maybe he can get off a lucky bash here on kezu kezu's porting out can he get the attack oh just walks away unlucky for team liquid but at least roshan is you know not dead and now eclipse is down so if team liquid gets a good fight and the quapple mind you yeah maybe maybe they could actually steal roshan that could be huge Charge coming in, giving Vision a miracle. 
Here comes Puppy. BKB still down for 25. Round two. This time Kuro should have the position to interrupt this. Pass coming out, but it's not before he gets on to Miracle. Now Quack in position, and they're gonna steal that nuke. Yapsir can keep his team alive in the fight, but Puppy's a bit isolated on the rear. Matumba does hold the site. I think he wanted to cast it, but the a little bit too fast. That's the one kill. Cool on the mid lane. There is no Puppy for a side. Bang. Bang. Huge kill for Liquid. All right, still Matumba man out in front. And now they go into Roche. Can Team Liquid turn this game? The Triancer there, they're not going to give it up without a fight. Yapsor has the heal to keep his team in combat ready mode. The bashes from Roshan slowing things down, buying time for mid one to come in. His ult's still a bit short though, needs a little more time. They bring Miracle low. They lift him up. BKB. They got vision. Him, but they can't control him. Puppy though with the charge. Roshan slow. Roshan slow. Who's going to get it? The Roche almost dead. It does go the way of Miracle. Liquid hang on! But Tumba Man gets two kills out of that. He finishes Blame as well. Can't this be the turn? Can Team Liquid come back from the disastrous early game? Tier 1 mid, relatively low. They don't they won't go for it right now. Boy, go everything, back. everything going just right for them there. Puppy, I believe, getting bashed by the Roshan in the midst of the fight. But he's trying to lock down Miracle. Able to snap, snatch the Aegis up, able to get the kills of Matumba Man, keep him alive. They fight. Very smartly while the Sonic Wave and Eclipse are down. We're gonna watch that team fight one more time. Look at how low Miracle gets. He activates a BKB and then they recognize, oh, we can't actually kill him in time. May one, I think he was thinking about jumping in to take the Aegis the whole time, but they all they all they can do is watch Miracle finish Roche and take the Aegis. Shows you how important it is for them to fight when the Quap hole, when the Luna ult are not available. Yeah. Otherwise, that is well, it's not a head scratcher, it's a clear secret win. And and look at the timing. Team Liquid is about to finish that Aghanims on GH. We all know what will happen when that happens. It's group up and push time. And sure, you might be able to defend it for the first round with Sonic Wave as well as you know the Eclipse, but like what, what we just saw, what will you do when those ults are not ready? Would really love to steal the Illuminate, but even that might not be enough. Liquid start to get to work here. Miracle hammering the tower down as they smoke up and undercover along the back line. Here. Mind control looks for a blink. Blink gets up the game of throw. You win or you die. And Yapthor hits the deck. Tier two now being under siege. Liquid still chasing forward. This tower slowly being worked down. Secret not feeling like they can fight right now with the positioning Liquid has. Down a hero, down that crucial Rubik lift. They force out the glyph. Liquid still committed to this. Or... Oh, they will get the last hit attempt. Mid one trying to put the deny. I mean, so he's, he's going to get an orchid, but we'll see how much it actually does with the press the attack. I do feel like you know that the tide of the battle is turning, but do you think Team Liquid has a oh, oh, bash? Reaper five. It's Reaper. Okay, the game has turned. I believe see ya. at this point, Team Liquid. Slightly now, 3k net worth advantage. They have the Aegis, that means they can make yet another big play. And it's, Team Secret needs to group up and, and use their Eclipse and Sonic Wave together. Mid one is known for being a very confident player. Most would say very cocky at times. We saw some of the tweets, you know, heading into the Kiev Major where he basically proclaimed that everyone needed to watch out and then Secret got bounced by G Sports. A very cocky play, jumping right into Miracle. Gets punished for it. I think to me that wasn't a cocky play more than more so than that they just had no vision there, you know? He, he walked in, he thought he could farm a little bit in the ancients, and then surprise. Secret getting punished. Now down 3k gold. More importantly, Liquid getting all their core items. My control farming up the armlet. Miracle still holding that Aegis. Not actually committing to this group up in pushes. The Ags is Still not been purchased. GH has the gold now, but you have that courier to come and deliver it. I mean, you need the axe, but you also need daytime, right? Which is one minute. About to one go. minute, yeah. So they'll have that with about a minute to push before the Aegis expires. Maybe a little less. One way to measure how effective your Luna is in a game is whether she could sit in the front and not die. And right now, I don't think she has the necessary item to do so. Like. You need BKB, but even with BKB, you still need to survive against Troll Warlord rushing at you, the blink duel that's coming out from the LC. So despite MP's great start and the fact that they were able to convert his start into something amazing in, in the early mid game, I think he's not farmed enough, which is kind of crazy because he's, he's leading the network for his team. 
Luna a fantastic late game or when you get to that four, five? Yeah, this this is the stage of the game where she Watch dips that. a little bit. Top tower is under attack. She's naturally pretty squishy as a carry. He needs a lot of items to take man fights. Whereas Miracle, he's already got hit. Tower falling, liquid surging. They move in. They want to be in the high ground. Let's, Let's go. go. 24 minutes. Gandalf bringing up the rear. GH is going to start healing his team up. Yapsor tries to slow things down. He will steal the death pulse up. Where's the team? They needed the battery. Meanwhile, Queen of Pain pushing up the mid lane is going to rejoin the fray. Already, that tower is Look down. Go. They got to focus on objectives here. Secret charge. Hold their base from the back. Eric will do it. So much work. Still the age of standing. Puppy is scouted out right now. There's no easy way in. They've lost the melee. They might just lose the ridge. Secret aren't even trying to hold their base. They forfeit a lane freely. Puppy all the while in the smoke. Link duel. There's the duel. Fight who, Puppy? Fight me, says Lion Control. Someone your size. And takes them down with ease. And now they're gonna just go mid. They There's don't no even need a creep wave. They There's have no a creep buyback. coming in from top. They stun him up. They got the Prancy attack. They got the Lumina heal. They got the bashes. Where are you at? He blinks away, but that's just more. They have time flips. Liquid staying alive, at least for now. They don't have the Aegis any longer. Miracle wants to retreat. They'll reset here, slow and steady. The heals keep on coming out. They keep on sieging. Puppy will respawn, but now the question is how to secret start fights. At this stage of the game, it really is a charge into a lift combo, and there's always that press of the attack. They don't have that big team fight initiation. It's causing them out of the eclipse. Miracle with the BKB gets back, gets control. The Reaper will kill a mid one with his dying breath. He lobs out the Sonic Wave. Still, though, Liquid staying alive. Kuro tries to get back. GH keeping them in fighting shape. Two have fallen on the secret that's with the ults. All you buy him now. You oh. heal up now. The you heal. go for the second lane. You go for the jugular if you're Liquid. A launcher secret can stop this. Yapsor is trying. He stole the Illuminate. But they have too many heals. They're just too tanky. The tower falling now onto the melee. Liquid are doing it here. They're gonna bring down another. Kenzu has fallen. Desperation buybacks come, but they come without ult. They don't have the profit on the heal. The wave. There's the charge for Puppy. Follows up. He knows he needs GH. Can he kill him? Push away. He does the trick. GH buys back. He doesn't care. They know this is their time. Maybe they need to group up and heal him, but he's gonna TP right back in. There is even a regen rune. If somebody checks for it, they're not even going to check for it. They got the mana machine. That was a lot of economic damage Liquid just did. Not just the top lane, but the tower also falling mid. The buyback's being forced out. I mean, both sides have buyback. I think Kuro has bought back in this. GA just bought back. And they're just poised to finish the game right here. Still no Eclipse for a minute. Still no Sonic Wave for 50. But okay. Liquid also know Roche could be up soon. Liquid decides to just go back, regroup. Get some Radiant items. Really poking their heads in the pit, maybe they can the time down. Okay, get some try. I can't way. blame him for not riding the time down, right? That was during a chaotic team fight almost 10 minutes ago. I mean, it shows you what a, a, a game of nerves TI can be. Even players who've been on this stage before, it, it is something special in every fight. Lower bracket match, elimination on the line. Forget. Team Secret needs to get more and more creative in terms of how they need to defend. Again, the same same mantra, find GH and kill GH. They could charge in from the side, they could blink in and Sonic wave him, but if you don't kill GH, this push you're not defending against. There's this, also the other factor of the night time, right? Like we're, we're approaching into four minutes of night. I think Team Secret could maybe make a move there. And also, if you want to get super creative, you can use Eclipse to kind of turn it into night for like, you know, a couple seconds, but I don't know how, how much you want to count into that. Secret. Dyer, Still awesome. hanging on. Now down a solid 5k gold. It seems the call for that Lumi, some BKBs. One coming for the Luna. Mid one also looking to build his, though it will be slow. Kezu with the, the early Midas has gone back for a Solar Crest. Curious to see what the Nature's Prophet build is. For Double him. damage from Miracle as he does Roche. They do scout this out though. It is nighttime. Can Secret make a play here without the Illuminate heal? This is where Luna can be strongest, but Miracle is hammering this Roche down quickly. MP moves in. He wants to force out the BKB. Charge the steal. Who's no. going to get the Aegis of Rose? But Miracle snatches the Aegis away. Puppies down. Secret Art shambles now. Miracle chasing forward, three of fallen, that's a double die back too. That just might be the lane of Rax. Yaps are falling, Whoa. secret crumbling, liquid. 
They've got the power play now. They still have that extra life. They can surge down mid. They won't have the heals for three minutes, but they know it doesn't really matter right I mean, now. there's three heroes dead. What do you need to heal against? Buyback from Mind Control. GH recalls them. They are just streaming in uh, creeps right now. And Miracle going for the Raxes. There is a tier two up, so I don't think Team Secret will be down three Raxes. Secret's lives are flashing before their eyes. They've had a scrappy showing here against Liquid. Game one looked great. Game two, not so much in game three. Are they gonna go for it? It's, it's gonna be tier four for them as Liquid continues. Yeah, yeah. tier four, let's go. Looking to finish it off, Secret hanging on, they will respond soon. I think Liquid are a bit over eager if they try to force this. Okay, back they up. Will back away. <laughs> Look at them draw that line on the mini-map. They know. Let's calm down. Yeah. Let's reset. I mean, they could just wait for two minutes for daytime as well, if they really want to just, you know, take it easy. Still, Secret need some crazy plays to get back in this game, Lumi. Has fallen. It's so hard to fight from here. Yeah. Again, you need to find a, an angle, an awkward I'm angle to come in, ideally from the back, find GH, but hard to do it during daytime. You know, he has perfect flying vision around him. You don't have blink dagger girls. Charge coming in for Kuro. He's got the clipper for himself. Might have actually been able to get him there. Liquid did not have any vision on that hill, but the thing is, Secret don't know if there is. There's two minutes left of nighttime. They're going to try to fight this mid one. Oh, blinking in for the haze. Kuro in position with the Glimmer. Seems like they do want to contest as Miracle pushes forward. Has that IF Scotty picked up now, getting tankier and tankier. Yeah, all he wants is just basically HP in the front line, and Illuminate will take care of the rest. Secret no, if they let Liquid get to their base and just set up an organized siege, their chances of finding that good opening are very limited. So they keep on trying to poke on the sides of this fight. Kind of point of weakness and Achilles heel they can under attack. shoot an arrow into Here comes mid one here comes that backstab trying for it Matumba man's a bit far back and he is somewhat Radiant's vulnerable here if secret want to commit on him GH look at his position he's in the trees like he's like whatever oh, the fire carrier does get picked off that's a Dagon recipe down miracle charging forward he sees heroes he wants to kill them all now the Illuminate's coming out, a good blinding light, pushing them back in a way as mid one commits with the Eclipse as well. But Miracle with the BKB, keeps on punching, keeps on punching, and he survives, he hits the cheese. Does 3 for Scythe too early? Is it going to be enough? No, they still go down. Even at night, they don't need the heal. Liquid are too damn tangy, and Secret can't stand against it. No Eclipse now, no Sonic Wave, no Prophet ult, no split push in sight. Bottom lane is all that stands between Liquid and Megas, between Liquid and moving forward, perhaps. Luna fights back, no Eclipse. 23 seconds, so mid one comes back. No Sonic Wave. I'm not sure how they're going to hold this. They got to try. Yeah, they're they gonna... better find out soon. Miracle keeps on swiping, keeps on hammering. Still Secret got the Aegis still too, man. chipping, still unable to find that opening. Puppy goes in, he charges forward, but Miracle there. Off the real fast. It's daytime. Oh, no. Welcome to the heal. Oh Which my god. Heal. Illuminates flashing through. Secret by back. One more charge. That might be all that's left. Now come the nukes and Miracle will drop. Oh, it's actually in an awkward but, spot. But he's got a BKB to Secret and the damage to bring him down. The blinding line. GH keeping him alive. So does the press the attack. He gets out of there. And now mid one jumping in. A bash could be his downfall. One bash. Now the BKB. Slice. No dice. Keeps uh -oh. on facing. Puppy's in. Oh boy. That's the dieback. The puppy goes down. One last charge. That's all he's got. Now Miracle, commitment, but without the BKB, he's got to be careful. Glimmer came the other way. GH is an awkward spot. GH is going to get caught. GH, blinding life from the Absor, oh, pushing him back. They overextended. They can't afford to lose Miracle here. This is a huge kill. It could be the start of a comeback. They got Glimmer. They got Pressy attack. Curl's going to run at them to throw his life away to and save me. Meanwhile, the tier four is starting to get hit by creeps. Even if they get these kills, it might not matter. The base is crumbling. Secret running out of insurance policy, running out of second chances here. Buybacks have been expended. In fact, when you look at it, they have used all five, and many of them are down for some time. I think this game has more buybacks in a 33-minute game than what we see in some 60-minute games, but... Back, Secret, at least back since buyback was given a cooldown. Right. Secret they held on, but, you know, this is the toughest hour during Tay time. You got to imagine Liquid are just going to reset 
and then go for that push. Maybe they wait for the Keeper of the Light to farm up his buyback, but Secret are not waiting. They're making the move. Poppy sees Marisol charge in. Oh my god! god. Choose through Puppy. That's a Spirit Breaker. That is actually an important part of their team fight. That charge is really all they have to deal with the troll. So he's down for 25. Good news is he's pretty low he's level. He's down for 25. That's the good news. Yeah. Good news is he's yeah. underleveled. So when yeah. he dies, he comes right back. Puppy 1 and 12. He's had a rough one, that's for sure. Over half the team's deaths, but he's had to play that sacrificial lamb. Yapsor, Yapsor's got blinding light, and with no BKB, he could just delay this a little bit. Miracle is trying to farm the MKB, but well, the blinding light, not gonna matter at least for now as they try to push Miracle up onto the high ground, crowd him up. He's got no BKB. Oh, the duel with the Reaper sight as well, but Tumble Man gets the kill, it's the buyback. Running in with the Adolin Reaper! Can they make something happen? MP chases the back on his heel. Miracle wants to fight. Oh, the Welcome to the meat grinder. Secret gets shredded, pushed back, maybe away. Puppy dies again. Out for 35. That's 13 for him. And here comes Liquid, right back into the fray. Miracle's at full health, healing them up as GH, giving them the help they need. Melee to drop. Rage start next. Liquid pulling through. Secret, one last hurrah. Do it without your Luna. Do it without your captain. How can they? We don't know, but they have to try, Lumi, else this might just be the game. Careful, hammering, pushing forward, thrusting his way onto the tier fours. Look at him go with that attack speed. Tier fours the drop, still they fight on. 4v5, last breath for Secret as they charge in. They want that troll, they bash him back, control him while they can. Already another dual one, mid one's down. It's over for Secret. G -G. done it. What a performance by Team Liquid. It looked real bleak. Game three, elimination match, lost the lanes, felt like the game might just fall apart. We asked ourselves, can a troll carry this game? Will that keep 